don't I don't get why people like there's it's very 50 50 but to the people that don't think I'm gonna win it's like I'm younger faster sharper and and hit can hit Jake Paul just revealed the replacement opponent for his upcoming bout if Mike Tyson fails the test and the boxing world is questioning his choice Eddie Hearn provided his fresh perspective on this fight and his opinion has not changed significantly he and his father Barry Hearn recently spoke with Piers Morgan and were questioned about their insights regarding this fight Eddie claimed that he is disgusted by this fight because the sight of 58 year old Mike Tyson returning to the ring does not appeal to him I find, I find it disgusting that a 58-year-old man who, who was my hero growing up, firstly, has to even get that. However, the matchroom boxing kingpin was also aware of the scope of the Netflix project. Eddie is confident that the bout will draw a large audience. Despite this, he is still opposed to the fight taking place. I'm never going to lie to you. I'm never going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion, which is it will sell. People will watch, it will be a big event, and I don't. Eddie also recently appeared in an interview on the Fight Hub TV, where he claimed that Tyson is too old to compete against an athlete like Paul. Moreover, he insisted that one cannot judge Tyson based on the training clips he has been uploading lately. According to Matchroom Boxing CEO, these clips are way too short, which lessens the scope to adjudicate Mike's skill set. He stated, I mean, look. I don't forget that Mike Tyson is one of the greatest fighters of all time. It is not like it's not like this. He is going to look at the pads. I mean, he was a former heavyweight world champion. He is 59 or 58, whatever. I am glad I think they have said now it is not a proper fight. Facing rising criticism, many famous combat sports people have put their support behind Jake Paul, predicting that he will win the fight against Tyson. Sean O'Malley, the UFC bantamweight champion, has joined the expanding list of the pros taking Jake's side. I feel like Jake's too locked in, too in it, been in it too long. With like in the last five years, who's been in it more? I think that matters. And uh, what is he, 30 years younger? I just don't see this ending well for, for Uncle Mike Tyson. But he didn't criticize the concept of this fight openly. Sean believes that no matter how good Mike was in his prime, it is very difficult for him to win a fight when he's nearing his 60S. Tyson. Think Jake's got the speed factor? Speed, I mean, power, even at this point. Jake's not a Jake's not a little guy. Jake's a big, big fella. Um, he's just f locked in. I think the rule set will play a role. You know, is it two minutes? Is it four rounds? Is it, uh, you know, what is it going to be? So I think that'll that'll matter. I don't even know if that'll matter. I think Jake's going to probably dominate. But UFC fighter Michael Venom Page is not a big fan of this fight. He thinks that looking at a knocked out Mike Tyson at this age would be dreadful. MVP stated, for me, that fight there is slightly different because yes, it's a gimmick. I guess it is. Definitely. It's money. It's money driven. But I just would never like to see just the potential of it. A Mike Tyson laying on the floor with Jake Paul standing above him. It just would be an ugly picture. You know, he's an older man now. He looks in great shape and I'm sure he could still cause damage. But just the potential of that happening, I just wouldn't want to see just for somebody with that kind of legacy especially that inspired myself and so many other combat athletes around the world. I just wouldn't want to see that picture. So I think those kinds of fights, it's just kind of not necessary. These kinds of fights, I'm not the biggest fan of. However, Roy Jones Jr. feels that the 16 ounce gloves during the Tyson Paul fight are to protect Jake Paul rather than Mike Tyson. Well, you're not going to see Mike get hurt against Jake Paul before they put on 16 ounce gloves and head gear. They didn't put that on to protect Mike. They put that on to protect Jake. You don't worry about Mike getting hurt at all. When I was in the ring with Mike, we wouldn't worry about Mike getting hurt. We worry about me getting hurt. I'm a small guy. But this way, players. So yeah, we don't want to see legends get hurt. He also believes that if you put legends in the ring, the chances of getting hurt increase due to their inflated egos. But talking about this fight, Roy thinks that Jake is not skilled enough to hurt Mike Tyson. So, um, you know, you, you do have to worry about that. In a sense, if you put two legends in the ring together, two older legends, sometimes the ego will come up and they do they will try to hurt one another. But in this Jake Paul situation, I don't think Jake Paul is good enough to hurt Mike. Uh, he may be powerful enough if they had on eight ounce gloves or 10 ounce gloves, but also if they had on 10 ounce gloves, Mike might hurt him. I think my chance would be to bet that Mike would hurt him. When asked if he is concerned for Mike's health due to his old age, Roy stuck with his statement and said that the 16 ounce gloves are meant to protect Jake rather than Mike. Well, considering that he's 58 years old, obviously we know that mother nature catches up on all of us. Um, and as you said there, he is going with a novice Jake Paul who's not a boxer. 
but you just think exactly. that kind of youth, that youthfulness that Jake Paul has. Do you, do you not have any worries whatsoever about Mike's health going into this fight? No worries whatsoever. Like I said, the head get him 16 out of clubs. That's not to protect Mike Tyson. That's to protect Jake Paul. Understand that. Please believe that. Anthony Joshua has finally talked about this fight and gave his insights regarding the Tyson-Paul showdown. During his appearance on The Jonathan Ross Show, AJ talked about Tyson's age before sharing his prediction. AJ stated, Tyson is older now. I pray that he comes out healthy. I think Jake Paul wins because of youth. That's the only thing. When asked about what he thinks about influencer boxing, AJ believes that influencers bring many people into boxing, benefiting everyone involved, as the increased viewership helps the sport overall. I personally think it's really good. I think the boxing hardcores, they don't like it, because they think, why are they disrespecting our sport? But I think that influencer brings all these people into boxing, which benefits everyone else. Everyone viewing helps. Irish boxing star Barry McGuigan feels Mike is fighting simply for the sake of money. He also doesn't understand why people are allowing a 57-year-old Mike Tyson near a ring. Barry stated, You can be sure money's got something to do with it, McGuigan told the Sun. The governing body should be seriously badly reprimanded for that, getting a 57-year-old guy into box. That's just really stupid and irresponsible. He shouldn't be near a boxing ring at 57 years old. It's just very irresponsible. It's very dangerous. British boxer Dave Allen also thinks that this fight is dangerous for Mike Tyson's well-being. Dave stated, As far as the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight goes, I think it's dangerous. Mike Tyson is one of the greatest heavyweights that ever lived, but at 58 years of age, he shouldn't be getting hit. Jake Paul is a young man, he's in shape, and he's ended up being a half-decent professional boxing prospect. So for me, it's dangerous, and it shouldn't be happening. Sergio Mora also shamed Jake Paul for taking up a battle with an aging Mike Tyson. Mora also emphasized Tyson's training videos and pointed out that showing videos is very different from getting in the ring. Mike Tyson, 58. What, 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 is that good for boxing? Uh, fight, you know, fighting a, a Jake Paul who's obviously in mid, I think, late 20s. Look, man, I, I've always been uh, a, a, a critic of, of Jake Paul and you know having him fight real fighters and boxers. Um, but fighting a fighter that hasn't fought in over 20 years of Mike Tyson, he got beat, you know, 20 years ago. And he lost the last two fights, got knocked out. Yeah, he got locked, knocked out the last two fights. So at 57, 58, 58 years old, that's, come on, man, you're, you're, you're fighting a senior citizen. You know, and, and it's not fair. I mean, he can look for, he can look like a beast, Mike Tyson, for like the, the, the 10 second clips that he posts on social media. Anyone could do. I can look like a killer right now on the pads for 10 seconds. But as soon as he turned that camera off, I'm going to be puffing and puffing and sore. Mike Tyson's not, not going to be a good look for his legacy. However, Jake Paul's business partner applauds people who are criticizing the fight. He believes that the more people talking about this fight benefits it indirectly. Nakisa stated, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson gives combat sports its largest single distribution platform in history. Debate the fight all you want, which is exactly what we want, but equally accept that this is a great opportunity to bring boxing to the masses. The owner of Lace Up Promotions, Amer Abdallah, a name very close to Iron Mike, further confirmed that the fight is mainly promoted by Jake Paul's promotion company, Most Valuable Promotion, and is looking to exceed expectations. Abdallah stated, We are talking about 700 million people. That's what they're estimating. We'll have access to it. Almost 300 million households will be able to view this for free on the largest streaming platform in the world, Netflix. It's a massive, massive event. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman is also supportive of the upcoming clash between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson and thinks that the event can be good for boxing. He stated, He Jake is a young, strong, upcoming fighter with great social media followers, and if it is an exhibition, then we have to support it. It is good for boxing, so let's support it and make it a great event for kids to look up to Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Frank Stallone, Sylvester's brother, made a bold prediction for this fight. Last time when he was asked about this fight, Frank was fully confident in Mike for destroying Jake. Getting good feedback from his first comments for the fight, Frank posted a video on Instagram and talked about this controversial showdown. He believes if the fight is real, then Jake Paul will go to sleep. Great feedback from a week ago when I talked about the Mike Tyson-Jake Paul fight. Again, let me reiterate, it's either a sanctioned fight or it's not a sanctioned fight. If you're wearing 16-ounce gloves and they're two-minute rounds, that's not a fight. Or if you're wearing headgear, it's not a fight, it's a sparring session, it's a joke. If it's a sanctioned fight, 10 ounce gloves, and all the things that go with no headgear, three bent rounds, whole different story. Jake Paul is basically a rank amateur. He fought one fighter, Tommy Fury, and he got beat by a guy that's an in and out boxer, not a great boxer. Here's the deal, he's 
an amateur. So here's, here's an amateur. Come in with the right hand and they go straight back. Mike is here. Mike is low to the ground. Throw a right hand, Mike's here. Bang, to the body, comes up top. Mike has an incredible uppercut. And when you go straight back, you're vulnerable to get knocked out. See, Mike's here, watch my feet. See, Mike will be here, he'll pivot here. He'll come in, he'll pivot here. This guy doesn't pivot. So Mike can be here like this and pivot, boom, hit you here or step to the side, bang. And that is gonna be the difference between a pro. And also Mike may be 56 or 57, but he's been in the biggest fights in history that he knows how to gear himself. No, he does not have the energy of a 25 year old, but he's not gonna expend it. He's just gonna walk him down, come in, pick his shots, boom. And when this kid gets hit with those shots, if they're using 10 ounce gloves, I guarantee you, it's lights out. God bless. However, Jake Paul is unimpressed by those who feel the fight will be one-sided. He believes that he's younger, faster, and sharper, and can hit as hard as Mike Tyson. Jake stated, it's very 50-50. But to the people that don't think I'm going to win, it's like I'm younger, faster, sharper, and can hit at the same level that he can and be able to take his punches. However, Jake doesn't underestimate the fact that he's going to face the Iron Mike and thinks that he's a little bit scared for the fight. I'm a little scared, because it is Mike Tyson, and I feel like when I look across the ring, I'm just going to have a wow moment. He also acknowledged Mike Tyson's sheer domination throughout his career and sees him as the most difficult opponent he'll face in his career. Jake stated, this is definitely the toughest, most savage, lethal opponent regardless of age because power is the last thing to go. However, Mike Perry has boldly challenged Paul. Perry strongly criticized Paul's opposition and declared that he would defeat him swiftly if they were to engage in a fight. Perry stated, if you get through Mike Tyson, test yourself for real and let's have a street fight. Mike Tyson also appeared in a recent interview and detailed his daily routine that he's maintaining for this fight. He states that he takes this fight seriously and expects to beat Jake as he believes he's faster than him. I don't think he's faster than me. How hard are you training? I train every day. Stay hey, I training. take it serious. Listen, it's the whole day. It's the process goes through the whole day. I get up in the morning, do the road work. Then I go to the gym at one. Then I go to the strength and conditioning guy. Then it starts all over again. And this guy's gonna come, he's gonna try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. But Tyson also said that he's scared of this fight. He stated, right now, I'm scared to death. I always believed that adversity and nervousness pretty much catapulted me into success. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. As the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Mike Tyson's latest interview has convinced UFC star Chael Sonnen that pride played a significant role in his final choice to participate in this bout. Chael stated, Mike Tyson answered it during a recent interview without speaking about himself. Speaking about his training, a number of guys would simply say, I've got far more experience than he, Jake Paul does. I'm bigger than he is. Last thing to go is our power. Last thing to go is our power is terribly problematic because you're now admitting that's now a concession that everything else is gone. It's just a weird thing. Mike Tyson said, I can draw, I can sell tickets. I'm sitting here with you right now. Nobody else from my time, nobody else 60 years old, regardless of sport, has been invited in your studio. It's a great point. It's true. It was all true and Mike Tyson does have pride. Michael Bisping also says, Tyson isn't in this match for money. He believes that money is only a minor motivator for him. And in truth, Tyson is doing this simply because he still has the fire inside of him. Okay, he says he doesn't need the money, and I'm sure he doesn't, although whatever he's gonna get paid, I'm sure that doesn't hurt either. So it certainly will be a little bit of a motivating factor. He wouldn't do it for free, that's for sure. Um, I think Mike Tyson's doing this because he misses it. You know, the thrill of it. When you're away from combat sports for so long, you know what I mean? It's still in you, you know? Still got that old dog deep inside him and he wants to go out and remind the world, this is fresh, this is a challenge, it's something to get in shape for. And it's an exciting venture. So how do you feel about this heated showdown? Are you a fan of this fight or find it unsettling? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.